Hello and welcome back to the channel. This is Abhinav. So in this video, we are going to talk about the problem C of code forces round 770, which is OK in A. OK, I don't know that what is the logic behind naming this problem. But yeah, OK, <laughs> it is OK. <laughs> so the problem is that uh, there are some N into K items which are placed in a self. OK, so that self has particular N, uh, you can say N rows and in each section or each row you can place k item so such that you can place all the n into k items in that particular cell okay basically there are n cells okay and in each cell you can place k options etc what is whatever now what the thing is that for each for a particular cell i what you have to check it that for that particular cell for any subarray means for any value of l to r for any subarray the mean of the prices means the mean of the integers of that number should always be a whole number means the mean should always be a whole number okay so this is what it is asking so let's move towards the whiteboards to understand this problem how we have to implement it so first of all there is a logic okay the logic is that what you have to do what you have to do is that you have you are given with some for example this is the ith cell and uh, here you have places number uh, sorry a1 a2 a3 up to for example ak because there are k cells in this ith cell there are k section means k uh, what is given uh, we can put uh, k items okay in that particular i h cell so for each and every subarray if we take this subarray then the mean of this should be whole number what is mean mean is sum upon total number of numbers which is 3 in this case in so according to that it is telling us that for all the three consecutive number its sum should be divisible by 3 For all the two consecutive numbers, sum should be divided by 2. Means for a1 plus a2 should be divided by 2. a2 plus a3 should be divided by 2. If here it is a4 also, then the sum of a1 to a4 should be divided by 4. Like that. So we have to first observe that if the uh, the sum of two consecutive numbers means 1, a1, a2, or a2, a3, or a3, a4, this should be even always only. Why it should be even? because it should be even because it should be divided by 2 and if a number is divided by 2 means it is an even number so because the a1 plus a2 or a2 plus a3 this all the time it should be divisible by 2 so it should be even only so to make two con the sum of two consecutive numbers even always what we can do is either we have to place all the even numbers like 1 3 5 7 so all the two consecutive numbers some are even or we can place all the even numbers like this this is the first solution for when we are taking sub array of uh, length 2 now we take 3 so this condition will also satisfy for a sub array of length 3 or of any length if we take a length of 3 then what we can if we take this particular sub array 1 plus 3 plus 5 is 9, which is divided by 3. If we take this one, 5 plus 7 plus 9 is uh, 21, which is divided by 3. If we take a, a 5, sub area of 5, this one, then the sum of this one will be, uh, it will be, uh, oh, it will be 11, sorry, it will be 11. So the sum will be 25, and again it is divided by 5, because this sub area is of length 5. So if we place the numbers according all the odd numbers and all the even numbers, then we can place all the odd numbers. In that case, what we can do is our uh, uh, particular operation is satisfied. Means all the conditions are satisfied. Mean for all the subarray, the mean should be a whole number. But there are some cases which are not possible also. For example, if we check the test case, a case 3 comma 3 is not possible. Now we check how it is not possible. Because let's make a matrix of 3, 3, 3. This is the matrix of 3, 3. 
okay so first of all what we will do is we will fill numbers according to our logic so according to our logic first of all we will fill all the odd numbers or all the even numbers so let's fill all the even odd numbers now here even numbers now here again odd numbers this is the first possible other possible is we can first fill the odd numbers means first fill the even numbers then we can fill this means any of the possible what we can do we can change this as uh, 8 10 and 12 also the thing is that here the maximum value which we can put means the value of this a i j should be less than 9 and should be greater than equal to 1 should be less than equal to 9 1 to 9 only but here we are putting a, num a value greater than 9 also here we are putting a value greater than 9 also that is why this 3 comma 3 is not satisfied in any case okay if we check for any other so what we'll do we will just put the numbers according to our logic and if the numbers are going out of bound we will put we will output no this is basically what we have to do a very easy and simple logic if we move towards the code part what i have done in code so in code you can check that what i have first of all i have just checked so if the first thing is that if there are uh, k is 1 so for k is equal to 1 we can just easily put uh, easily output 1 to 3 4 in vertical order as mentioned here 1 to 3 in vertical order otherwise we have made an array of n comma k now i have uh, fill the array with all the even or all the odd numbers in the uh, alternative rows then if the greatest odd number or the greatest even number i have uh, entered in the array is greater than n to k means our maximum number then the answer is no otherwise the answer is yes and we have to output that particular array so i hope you get it what i am trying to say i hope you get it and uh, that this was a great problem a very concept and i think that in this uh, contest the problem a was the easiest one and then the according to difficulty level c was easier than b b was a tough problem you, you can also check the submissions here okay and d was also a very great problem that i was not able to do it in, in the contest i will try it okay i will solve it but i was not able to do i was able to do the three only okay so thank you for watching the video if you have any doubt you can uh, comment it down or you can join our telegram you can connect me on linkedin you can connect, you can join the telegram or you can also follow me on instagram thank you for watching the video i hope you like it